So it's just if to the new year. And you can see um, we're just sandwiched uh, between 2013 and 2014. And so it had, I'm sure when they show a long shot. So you can see it behind. Um, and we all know the lady, uh, Susan Edward Wanka, how are you? I'm fine. Beautiful as ever. And uh, ushering you into the next year. Um, happy New Year. Many happy returns. Okay, and so uh, she's the um, first vice chair of the CPP and, uh, or second vice chair? First vice chair. First. Yeah, I want to reduce the post. I was, it was a deliberate thing to see whether <laughs> she would react. And she reacted. <laughs> well, let's see what she's going to react to because we're going to do a review of what the issues have been for the year. And particularly looking at some of the bargain issues that have uh, confronted uh, not only government but the political parties, the labor unions, and the general people of Ghana. And a uh, very good morning to you again. And uh, now we have to start uh, from the beginning of the year, particularly we had the energy crisis. Um, yeah, I think that, you know, with the energy crisis, it was a feeling of deja vu because we've had it over and over and over again. And we, we don't seem to have had a handle on it. Um, I guess, was it two weeks ago, the buoy came on and supposedly some of our problems have been solved so that 2014 may be, may, may be a better year than 2013. I, I think that um, as a nation, we ought to look 10 years ahead, 15, 20 years ahead, mm. and know that this is how our energy needs will be. Um, so it shouldn't just be buoy at the moment and then you know we fold our hands i know we is not supposed to run all the time it's supposed to run for i think the peak hours mm. is supposed to be uh, and even not, five, not, not, uh, uh, not all all the plants are supposed to be on stream, on stream uh, yeah, because that's period. how the design was maybe we need to look at a design where um we can it, it doesn't have to be that way, you know, just coming on at peak hours or whatever, but something that will propel us. Because if we want not just to um, um, supply what we have now, but we want to industrialize, then we must show that our energy needs cover us not just for what we have now, but for uh, a future where we have industrialized. Mm. And, and, and mm. energy is important to mm. this economy. So, mm. um, your small scale, large scale, everybody, mm. energy is very important. Mm. So, we must really get a not, hold not, of it. Not, not particularly when we want to get hold of a situation where our long-term planning activities have not been apt as far as energy is concerned. And for even uh, constructing buoy, something that was envisaged long before independence, but an idea that um, the first president of the republic had really tried to ha have a hands on deck uh, on. Do we think that we're really up to, do we have, uh, if, oh, well, we have the commitment, but do you think that we're really taking the right measures to make sure we have long-term energy needs solved? Um, it, it hasn't looked that way. Mm. I mean, I, I can't say it has looked that way. Um, but, and as a people, we always have beautiful plans, but we don't follow through. We don't seem to be people who follow through to, to, to a satisfactory end and maintain it or sustain it. Um, I am hoping that, um, yes, um, w you know, come a new year, w we will change our attitude towards things. We would know that, look, if we have to think, we have to think generational. We don't have to think just for the here and now. But... Um, you know, think I, I really, really ahead. What are the things that we're going to do, and start putting those steps in 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 place. I mean, um, energy. It's taken how many years since Nkrumah put the breathing to, to get to this stage? Is that how long we want to take again? We have to run faster. What are we going to do to ensure that? And But it's not just doing the um, putting more energy out there. We have to teach people also how to conserve, you know, um, how to ensure that whatever we have now, they, they're using it appropriately. I mean, when we go to the factories, what are we teaching them mm. how to the old machines? Mm. If we have to help people mm. to change their old machines, mm. is that something that we have mm. plans of doing? Mm. You know, so we, we need to look at it and not just putting more energy out there. Mm -hmm. but what we already have out there, how, um, you know, are we safeguarding? How, how useful is it? We have to get value for whatever it is. And so I'm sure that there are many small industries 
that are using machines that um, are not energy efficient. Many homes have, um, you know, all sorts of gadgets that are not. We need to also intensify that. If we have to start from primary school mm. and teach, you know, people when mm. you leave the room, just, mm. the, you know, there was a funny advert in one country or the other. It says, don't you just hate it when people turn you on and leave? You know, yeah, I get that point. <laughs> you get that. So and it was, it was an energy thing for for life. Yeah. No, but somebody turns you on and just leaves. Don't it, you it, it's got it? some kind of sensual feel towards it, right? Yes. Okay. But it, I but get you your see, point but now. It, it, it was it, it was interesting for people. But that's and, real. And yes. and people kept it in 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 mind. We have to do that. So in looking and projecting ahead, because we want to industrialize mm. and we are looking at energy needs for the next 30, 40 years. Mm. But we also have to make sure that whatever mm. we are doing now. Mm. We are conserving mm. it. You, you, you are preferring um, very concise solutions to an issue that has always been confronting Ghana over over the last two decades, so to speak. But uh, do you think that in, in, in the course of the year when we had all these difficulties, the criticism was more lopsided than, you know, just making suggestions as to what the issues and the solution should be? Look, uh, you... you it will happen. That because way. within the period, it was only just bashing governments that enough has not been done. While we all know that the difficulties that confronted Ghana transcended just a, a particular government, uh, but because confronted uh, a country as a whole. Well, um, let me say something, some context. We, what, there's a term that the, um, the Catholic Church uses called subsidiarity, okay? It means the that... Latin. No, it's no, it's English. Not Latin. No, it's English. <laughs> Subsidiarity. Yeah. Right. Um, it's the the con it just means that people now begin to depend on government for things that they themselves could do, mm. and that is the point where we have reached. Mm. You, you understand where we are depending on mm. everybody but ourselves. Mm. There are things that we ourselves should be able to do mm. and things that governments should do. That's mm. why we pay taxes. You know, we should try and find that 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 um, um, line, mm. okay, that this is what we can do to help to push this country. And this is what we cannot do on our own. Mm -hmm. That is why we pay taxes for the government to do and we must hold them accountable. Mm. You understand? So in, in everything, we need to look at it in, 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 a, in a holistic yes, way. In a holistic but in, way. In, in trying to be more realistic, if you look at the current, um, where we have an installed additional capacity from BUI, or of course it doesn't run 24 hours, but just augments and complements, so to speak. Uh, you just mentioned the word deja vu. We're likely to get that by there, perhaps in two years. Well, we should not want to get back yes, there. Yes, but the I point mean, is that when you see the signs on the wall, you see the signs on the wall. So that is why seeing the signs on the wall, we must work in ensuring that it doesn't happen. Mm. You know, um, too many times we, we, we lift up our hands in despair and say, oh, this is what, look, let's push ourselves harder and say that this is this is our ideal and this is where we want to work towards and work towards it you know um we are we we are so used to um, um second rate things and mm -hmm. half big things mm -hmm. and we think that that is okay mm -hmm. it's not okay you see but excellence is work excellence doesn't just happen Ex you know quality just doesn't happen mm. you must work towards it and so we must all tune our minds in saying that mm. we want to work towards mm. it you may not have voted for this government mm. you know what but if this country improves it affects your mm. life so what can you do mm. you know in 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 in, in your own way to, to, to mm. push this country well, it, and also hold the government accountable for the things that you cannot mm. do. Because it reminds me of a book that John Maxwell wrote that says talent is just not good enough because you need to add a lot more effort. But in, 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 in adding a lot more effort is a subject about how realistic Ghanaians need to be. And particularly when the increment in the utilities came in uh, not too long ago, and then we had all those agitations by the labor unions or organized labor, is that we need to pay really for, for electricity. I mean, we, we just can't be having things for free. No, we can't. I mean, the, 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 we've gone past the freebie days. Um, everybody likes a freebie. But if the freebie that you're getting now is going to affect something in the future, then you have to think about mm. it um, uh, carefully. Um, yes, we must pay realistic um, rates for electricity. Um, maybe the hikes were too big uh, a, a realistic jump. Mm -hmm. And so we needed to factor that in and graduate it to a point where we, we, we are paying 
what we ought to pay. Mm. And that is how we should go. Um, I think that the, the, the agreement was that we would go to the adjusted... Um, Automatic auto adjustment formula. Yes. And with that, it would increase when it had to increase. It's supposed it, to be increased every quarter. Well, so... And the that, first quarter starts so, in January. Well, then and the PRC in, implemented the first one in January. Well, and Ghanaians so, are happy in arms. Well, we will be up in arms, <laughs> but you people, like I said, everybody likes freebies, and people will be up in arms. But look, when you look at the cost of uh, having a candle mm -hmm. and look at um, you know all the generator mm. putting um, diesel in a generator, etc., you realize that having electricity uh, all the time and paying that kind of money is it, more realistic. It's, 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 better. it's better. It's more economical. It's, it's much now, more economical. It, it, if if we would have to, um, now we're transcending and talking about tariffs. If if we look at the current um, pegging of the rates and the agreement um, following the initial increment that resulted in, in all those agitations that we should be paying realistic for, um, tariffs based on what is automated using the automatic adjustment formula. It still means that we're going to graduate to a point where workers will be complaining. Well, you see, if we are, the thing is, there's a, a thing it, it's, 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 it's a, it's a, it's a, a cycle. cycle. Okay. Cyclical thing. If we get more energy and we're paying for it and we increase our productivity, workers should be paid whatever increase in productivity they put out there to pay their bills. We should, we should try and do that. Somewhere along the line, there'll be some... Explain that to me. I mean, the point look, is that there's a single spying pay policy that has been implemented. Put well, a lot of I money mean, in the pockets of the I don't know or public about sector. that. I, what, I don't what, know. I, you I, you I, work with a public sector agency, so uh, perhaps you might have collected a single spy. I don't know. But the point is, <laughs> once, you have, once you have a lot more money in your pocket, it, there's an assumption, which is very logical, that you should pay more. Well, I don't know about how Because of you, prices no, on the market have increased. Well, I don't know about single spine, putting more money in people's pockets. And so, look, um, people are spending three quarters of their salary on food. Food is so I, I, I don't get you. What yeah, do you no, mean no, by no. that? You I, mean I'm, you, you, no. you, for example, you spend <laughs> three quarters of your salary on food, yes. or you're talking about the average worker? I'm to, me. I'm the average worker. Okay. okay. Then you eat a lot. Uh, <laughs> because, uh, because no, it is just because food is expensive in this country. Why? I realistically? Realistically. Or maybe because of the transport situation, um, you know, getting food to our centers is, is, uh, is, is a nightmare. And so it increases the cost of food. Because I'm sure that the farmers are not making the kind of money that the, the middlemen and the other and traders are, are, are making. You know, but even they are complaining. But if the average can like me, Okay, or I am even mm. a little above that. Perhaps you, you eat no, too no, much no. KFC, no, I think, no, uh, because I, I th 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 that's a no, wholesome food, no, uh, finished food. Bro, look, Susan. No, let me tell you something. I can barely afford KFC. I, I, I can't. I mean, KFC is way out of my you pocket. You mean you don't want to? No, I can't. <laughs> Let's be realistic here. Yeah. I mean, but, 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 that is the, 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 okay. the realistic so, thing. So, so because if I was going to be uh, um, doing KFC... Uh, <laughs> Well, I, I, okay. I can't. I can't so so now you, you're raising a subject of the economics of it. So the various variables that will tend to influence um, somebody or a, an average worker to be able to pay a realistic tariff is because we have various indices that will tend to influence the various economics of it. And at the end of the day, if the worker has enough money in the pocket, then the worker will be willing to pay a realistic tariff. And you're saying those variables are not there. No. You okay. see, there's, there's, so, there's something not right somewhere that the economists need to sit out, and that is why we put and the resolve. government and, and resolve that something is not right somewhere. I mean, you, you look when they come out with those, they are um, nice as this is, it, it looks nice on paper, but that is not the reality, and people are not feeling it on the ground. There is some, there's some disconnect, okay? When and and somebody like me who's a little above the average Ghanaian says that I'm spending three quarters of my salary on food the rest may be on petrol and I can barely get by doing other things that I'm supposed to be living a little up on the t uh, top of the food chain I'm supposed to I'm, I, I can't do it. No, it's you possible know. you're paying so, high mortgage bills and, and so no, you, you no, never but, know. No but the, it's, it's the look it's the, it's the reality for most people in, in this country so 
a, even a small increase in, in, in the tariffs causes an uproar, you know, even though they are aware that they must pay realistic prices. But because they feel um, constrained, they feel uh, as if they are, they are scrimping to, to live, you know, just something, a, a small increase like that will, 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 cause, will, will, will cause us there. You see, so th we must get it right. Mm. I'm not an economist, so mm. I cannot come and say okay. the way we're going. But the way we are going is not the way mm. we should be going. Food, at least food, getting food to people mm. should 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 mm. be a, a priority mm. in, in the coming But what we're told year. is that we, we have enough food, so there's uh, what they call food security. In, uh, food security. Uh, well, we have enough food, and it's, it's it's not in people's homes. Where is it? P if people can't afford it, if people go, to, if you go to the, to to the market and and four four pieces or uh, four uh, how would I put it? Yes, of tomatoes is two CDs. Lord have mercy. What, 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 how many people can afford to buy 10 CDs for mm. the whole week? For, Every piece, for which market do you go to? I want to know to because you're talking market. about two Ghana CDs. And so two. you mean one is 50 pesos? Yes. That's 5,000 CDs. You all know. All CDs. Well, so be, be careful. Be <laughs> careful. <laughs> you know, That's 50 uh, pesos. And you're talking about um, 50 times 4. And you're saying you only get four pieces of tomato. Yeah. Four. If you want four nice that are not soft where? Marina and game where? I where do you shop? Me, I, do you I go to Agogloshi? Do you go to Makola? Do you go to Malamata? Do you go to Ashama Market? Do you go to Tama Community One Market? Do you go to the, the Texpo Market? Do you go there? I don't go to the Texpo Market no, no, because no. I can't afford the Texpo Market. Okay. The President <laughs> has always been talking about a subject and, and particularly when all these uh, agitations came up. Um, he said, well, uh, there's the issue of single spine and workers are also not paying uh, w realistic wages and also not giving enough as far as the outputs of what they should be putting in by way of work. Do you agree with the president? You see... Now we're the, talking about no, single spine the, and, the, 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 and, the, and workers' no, output. The employer mm -hmm. must say that this is what I expect from you. These are the indications that say I am getting what I expect from you and then I'm going to appraise you on what I have said I want. Okay, it, it, it is the responsibility of the employer to state those clearly, mm. okay, and say, this is what I remunerate you for this work done. Mm. If you are not getting what you are remunerating the person for, mm. then I'm sorry, okay. then you need to Now you're going the to the H no, area of HR I, practice. No, no. What do you think needs to be done? Because in other areas of jurisdiction, what is done is you go, you clock in, and so when you're out, it means that that is deducted because you've not worked at the end of the month from your pay. Well, maybe that is how, how do we do that? It means no. we need a lot of automation. Well, n not just automation, but also a lot of supervision. Okay, mm -hmm. we need um, a, a lot of supervision. Um, um, people need to be, uh, you know, at, um, what how they say, made, made, made to be accounting for their time. They need to okay. be accountable. People need to be accountable. More responsible Look, to the jobs. I mean, do. I I have heard people say that. The, uh, the reasons why the public schools are in shambles is that they're not being supervised properly. And it's not that the teachers there are terrible, okay? It's just that they are not being supervised so properly. Supervision so, so, so supervision is a huge problem in Ghana. Supervision is a huge problem. Where should it People, start from? Should it just be a director that is coming from the top? And so issued by the president. And so if that is not followed through, it will not also trickle down? Well, it, it has to start somewhere. Starting from the top is fine. Mm -hmm. We have to see. We we have to see it with his um, his own small group of ministers, etc., etc. And then it has to trickle down. Okay, we have to put this the civil servants uh, in in such a way that they are appraised for what they are supposed to do. Mm. They are, they are supposed to be productive. Mm. If they are not productive, mm. what I mean, um, you know, how you either you are either coercing people or you're punishing people mm. or you know something to ensure that what you you are paying for you mm. get mm. you know you uh, what do we say here you pretend to work and then they pretend to, mm. to pay you and talking is, about is productivity and talking about revenue generation etc um a point in time came within the year when we were told that a percentage of what we accrued as revenue was being used to pay salaries of Okay, approximately 600,000 public sector workers. And there was the link 
that uh, it was also a result of an election petition which was before the court and we went through and so productivity was low and and all that. Did you buy into all, I, I all those arguments? That. I mean, that all, you no, heard those no, arguments. No, Did I, you buy I, into them? During no, your I didn't. Why? I, <laughs> you see, well, we, look, we, we had an election petition uh, in court. So, so what? So what? The civil service is supposed to run even if the earth is, the sky is falling. You understand? That is why we have a civil service. It is supposed to be such an institution mm -hmm. that when everything breaks down, mm. at least that should function. Mm. So what has the election petition got to do with it? Mm. I mean, what has the election petition ha got to do with the, the Ministry of Education and if schools are supposed to get their grants well, because there's an election petition, no, you, they will not get their grants. I mean, what... <laughs> Okay. No, you, no. Maybe I'm not getting the the connection. So somebody has to. Well, uh, the, the connection was made during the no, year. Yeah, I, I'm not the one I mean, making the connection. Look, so. so if th there was an energy crisis and we were going through doom so doom so because we didn't have enough energy and because uh, whatever etc. Tell me the connection between that and the election petition. I, w I I would want to know. You know, if there, there was a problem with transportation, okay, and we're supposed to have roads built, and a road that's supposed to cost ten cities is in this country is costing a hundred cities, and we are not supervising it properly mm. to get what we are, even mm. though we are paying ten times. So, what has that got to do with an election petition? Okay, we'll talk I about. Mean, I, we'll, I would want to know. Mm. Maybe we'll I'm we'll, not we'll, looking we'll, at we'll, it we'll properly. We'll talk about the election petition and whether it caused any upheavals in Ghana, whether there was tension, etc. But the single spine pay policy. The government has now said, I think it, it, will, it will be suspending some level of uh, implementation for some time, I think within the next fiscal period, etc. Um, do you think that really the single spine pay policy um, g give us a hell of a time? As far as um, the economics of it is concerned, in terms of the huge payment that were made at a tranche um, or at a time, instead of being made in tranches, and as a result of that, uh, government had its own uh, revenue targets not be met, well, or its fiscal spending not be met. Y you see, I um, I haven't diagnosed the problem of the single spine properly. Mm. I don't know. I think the whole concept of it was is 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 a it's good laudable. one. Yes, that um, equal pay for equal, equal work, work. work so, done. So you know, what so that problem? you so should. Maybe the problem was in the implementation. Maybe the problem was uh, um, in the um, the way it was handled. Okay, um, people had had problems w with it. I mean, I know the pharmacist had a lot of problems w with it. You know, the disparities in, in in the way the system was, and that's why they went on on on. In, um, on, on strike. Did you go on so, strike too? You're a pharmacist. Yes, but I, I, I'm not a hospital okay, pharmacist. Okay. So, you I'm know, sorry. So I, I didn't go on You're strike. You're a research pharmacist. Yes. Okay. You know, but I don't go on strike either way. I mean, even when Fusak went on strike. No, you are patriotic. But so no, don't, don't but put yourself no, no, in a no, normal Ghanaian sphere. So, please. <laughs> so, but the, the, the thing is, it, it could have been that. Mm. Okay. Um, as for the excuse that it's taking 70% of whatever, then we need to generate more. So that it, it you oh. know, if we generate oh, more... That's why the government increased taxes. And you are complaining. You are complaining. I think that it's not just a matter of increasing taxes. Now, what is you it? Know, I, I think that, uh, you know, that is just the easy fruit, and that is a, a, a cop-out. You understand? You, it's the taxes that we are increasing, that the VAT, etc. It's the same people you are taxing. You haven't increased the net. Mm. You haven't. You have not been creative enough mm. to bring in the people who earn money in this country that are not paying the the, the right amount of taxes. Mm. Okay, and then you you just seem to be zeroing on a certain group of people, which they, they seem overtaxed. Mm. Okay, I I think that we ought to be more creative. It's not just a matter of just increasing tax. You know, and if you ha it's the same people you are taxing, you haven't done anything. Okay. You you need to 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 increase the tax net so that you catch all the little little monies that are. And of course, the wastage. I mean, if mm. if because I was just about uh, to I mean, come, uh, come to if, that. If if because uh, earlier you were told that there were budget overruns. I mean, our ministries and departments had run their budgets. Yes, and, and not even that. I'm not, their not expenditures even, not, were not, skyrocketing not, or had not, skyrocketed. Not even that. I mean. I, we were in this country when we heard that the Ghana Revenue Authority had paid some monies, a hundred and what, 
44. Well, you have to be realistic on that. That's okay. based on a contractual <laughs> term, and whether you had a difficulty <laughs> with the contract no, or not. No, that's another was, issue. But let's move on to the subject of the overalls. Let's move on. Susan, can we move on to the subject of overalls? No, we're talking about people who are poor, who are wasteful. That is what we're talking about. I mean, we, we say that we are poor, we say that this and this, and yet we are wasteful. Mm. It's like, you, you and we talk about uh, 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 that we don't have enough money to pay workers and we are spending 70% of us, so we are going to increase taxes. Well, we don't. When we are leaking, like, according to, according to we what leaking, we collect, we don't have enough. It's just well, the pure economics of it. You collect and you spend a lot more. It's simple. Well, if you're going to be spending 70% or whatever percent, a greater on, on 600,000 people, okay, uh, that's what we are saying. So we're collecting the taxes of how many people, how many millions of people in this country. How many, if you go to the I, or GRA, how many people who actually work in this country are paying taxes? I can bet you, you will not get more than 3 million of the 25 million who, 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 you know, given that some are children, some are maybe... Who pay, who so, pay the who, necessary who, taxes? Who pay taxes? The, who pay the necessary taxes? Oh. Because everybody pays <laughs> VAT, generally. And, and so that one captures everybody. Even and, the child but, who goes to buy so, something so at school pays VAT. So out of those 3 million who are paying the taxes, you are you're giving 70% of that to 600,000 people, and you think that is okay. I mean, that, like I'm saying, something is not right somewhere, and somebody ought to be sitting down and looking at it. Look, there, yes... We ought to, to take hard decisions, okay, and we ought to implement them without fear or favor. But whatever decisions that we take to right this kind of skewedness and things like that, everybody must buy into it. Everybody must understand it. And everybody must then say that, okay, we're tightening our belts. And we must see it from everybody, not just some people. When some people see that other people are living... Uh, La Vida Loca, okay? Then they said, ah, well, this is my But your due. comments are now, you're insinuating. Uh, insinuating what? Which category of people are you talking about? Living I'm lavishly. Not... <laughs> uh, what, what do you mean by that? What do I mean by some people are living well, lavishly? Well, you're, you're making insinuations. Uh, you're, I'm, not, not, I'm, I'm, I'm asking just, you to substantiate I'm, because, uh, I mean, I'm not saying you're raising allegations. I'm, not raising I'm, allegations. I'm saying that you're making I'm insinuations. When we have a plan, mm -hmm. okay, we need to stick to the we plan. We need to stick to the plan. And, now, and that, everybody in, needs in to be part plan, of the plan. Is that what you're that, saying? Look, that some in, are in not the, part the, of the plan. In the situation in which we are in this country right now, times are hard. It probably will get worse before it gets better. Okay. And in looking, you're predicting the, doom. No, I'm not predicting doom. I'm only saying I'm, I'm saying it will get better. And okay, I'm saying it will get better. But I'm saying that it probably will, will get worse before it gets better. Now, before we, 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 we embark on whatever that we're doing, you have to your budget. I don't know how many people have really grasped what the budget uh, is about, how it will affect their lives everywhere. Maybe we need to do that and break it down for everybody to see this is, we, we, this is how it's going to be. Mm. And then this is how it will be when we do that. Now, in doing that, everybody, including the ministers, the everybody, should be seen to be living austere lives, if that's what you well, want me to say. Well, well, okay. the, the president okay. has, uh, in the last budget, mm -hmm. um, uh, based on an agreement Cabinets and even those in excess beyond cabinets, they have agreed 10 percent of their money. That's fine. No, no, no. That, 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 no, no. What, 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 what that, type of examples do no, you no, want no, no, again? No. That, Susan that, 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 of the is, that is showing generosity towards something. I don't know about that being austere living. That is saying that we want to sacrifice some part. That's okay. okay. That for that we, we're talking about in terms of other things. Um, I know that they said that GV cars, um, you know. Um, Petrol, whatever, whatever. Let's see all those things. Electricity, electricity they have to pay for their own. Let's see them do it. They are Let's not doing it. Are you saying they are not doing I it? I don't know. Because but according to the reports by the news media, um, that has started in earnest. And, and, and we have, are we seeing, uh, so let's see the figures. Okay. Let's see the figures. Okay. You are, that, you are, you are very that, hard to what, convince. No, but no, let, let, not, let, no. let me ask you. Let figures. me ask you. Let me let me ask you. As I change the subject on on, on this very um, issue, um, there was the, this election petition for which all of you politicians you all jumped around uh, and and talked about it and everything. And do you think it was the right step by the MPP to take, even though it was their own right to go to court? I don't know about right and wrong. It was their, they had a choice, yeah. and they made that choice. Okay, okay? they they could have said they wouldn't they wouldn't do anything. What were the benefits of uh, the MPP going to court, and how did it benefit uh, the country as a whole? Well, even if they had the satisfaction of knowing that they they lost um, justly, isn't that okay? I mean, if you feel you no, 
no. If you feel you've been wronged, okay, and you take the thing to to for arbitration, and then they look at it and realize that no, you were not wrong, but this is the situation. Mm -hmm. Don't you get that satisfaction? At least you went ahead to do something. So, I mean, I'm not to sit in judgment of whether it it was right or it was wrong. They felt that this is what they wanted to do, mm -hmm. and they went out to do it. I think that in some ways, the country also, uh, we tested the system, and the country also saw that, look, you don't have to do, get into, um, uh, what do you call it, guerrilla warfare, okay? Take the thing through the normal process. If you, if you, 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 you have your day in court, mm -hmm. and if things go your way, fine. If things go, don't go your way, so be it. You, you understand? But you've had your day in court. And so I, I think that, for me, they, what were they, the lessons? I mean, what, what did we benefit as a, as a country? What were the lessons? Well, it, as, as a country, I think that we, we, we learned that if you had a, a, a problem, you had to, 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 to use the right channels to have it addressed. It also showed that we have to be meticulous in the things that we do, especially with our documentation. We are careless in this country with our documentation. You know, you, you, people take things for granted. We shouldn't take things for granted. You know, we should be a little, we should pay a little more attention to detail when we're doing things. Mm. It also showed us some of the flaws in our electoral system. And like every system, it needs to be uh, um, renewed and, uh, and, and, and it has to evolve so it, and, and get better. So this was an opp opportunity to actually put it on stage and look at it under a microscope and we did that, mm. and we've seen the flaws. Mm. We are better off for it. Mm. Okay, so they may ha people may have the argument that oh, we didn't have to do that to get to know this. Maybe we had to do that. Okay, and I, I think that um, the it's it's given everybody an opportunity. Mm. Next, the, uh, well, ne well, next time, you see, next time the CPP may win. And NDC may decide to take it to court. Then they realize that that's mm. opportunity. I mean, I, I, would, I, would, I, would, I, would, I would want the CPP. I would mm. wish the CPP would win SPA. Mm -hmm. I mean, nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong okay. with that. But, we need to, we but, need to but, try but, to but in, go, but in going forward, um, were there any winners or losers? or, or I mean, it, it was just an, an, an even landscape for everybody as to what the pros and cons were, what were the lessons learned? Well, everybody learns some lesson or the other. Mm. Okay. So there were no I losers and there were no winners. No, I don't. I don't think so. I think that we it was an experience we we, 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 we ought to have had. We had that experience. We should take lessons from there. So it it wasn't a matter of winning and losing. Look, we you see, we need everybody in this country to put their shoulders to the wheel to move forward. When people are grieved about something, you know, they tend to to sit back. Okay. Maybe they, we needed to go that, and now it is for um, the, the, everybody to say, we've put that behind us. Let's move ahead and build this, this, this country. You, you know, and, and that is the way it should be. You see, I'm sure this will not be a lax electoral petition process in this country. We will have more. So there ought to be a first. We have the first. Mm. The only we thing will improve on it, mm. and as we improve mm. on, on, on it, we will grow as a country. How, how, how can the whole process that the country has been through um, um, pose positively for the next election we're about to have? Well, I think that people will be, uh, like I said, people will be a lot more meticulous, okay, in, in their documentation. Um, you mean the uh, political parties? Mm, yes, the or the electoral commission. The, the, the electoral commission. Mm -hmm. You know, the electoral commission will sit up with things that they they are, are allowed to to slide. Um, I um, I think that the you know the various parties have sent in their suggestions. We are, I think next year, twenty fourteen, we're supposed to have district assembly elections. District level elections. Okay, um, whichever. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's all just assembly elections anyway. So I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to be mischievous. Okay. Yeah. So we're, we're supposed to have that. I think that the, the, the Electoral Commission ought to take some of these suggestions mm -hmm. and see how, you know, they, they will pan out in, mm -hmm. in during the... the um, you know, government has to release monies early to ensure that 
things run smoothly? Because I think these are some of the problems, you know, the releasing of the money in, in such a way that, you know, it comes too late for you to, to actually so put things into proper place. And, make and do proper pre-testing, especially proper when, pre -testing. when we're having and ma so, machinery. I mean, this, is, this is something that w we, we, we've learned in this year. Hopefully next year, during the district level elections, we, we will mm. put some into place and see how mm. it works. But during the period, there was all, all, all type of uh, uh, tension that was attached to it, especially coming from uh, the political parties who were so much incensed about what could happen or what might not happen and it, whether it went uh, the other way or didn't go the other way. W was that necessary at all? Well, I mean, by all means, it, the, there will be tension, okay? Um, in a situation where you don't know where things will fall, you will be tense, okay? Um, tension in itself is not a bad thing, okay? Um, you know, you, it, you, it, hype, you, it heightens your senses to all sorts of things, and then you, you look out for things. If you are relaxed, you will not look out for. So tension itself was, 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 is not a bad thing, okay? Um, and we and we 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 managed to um, control that tension and had a good result in the end. Okay, we didn't explode, and so it's it's okay. I I think that um, for me, it's okay. We should not use that as an excuse for everything because it, it it's not everything. People still went about their daily lives, and uh, government was supposed to be working. Look, government. And they gave us that, I, I, I said, they're supposed to be working for us, okay? Look, the fact that you are fighting with your wife at home, okay, and there's tension in the house, doesn't mean you shouldn't pay school fees. Me? <laughs> you, 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 no. mean, you are giving a scenario. I'm giving a okay. scenario. No, you said it straight to me, I thought. <laughs> you, you, you understand what I'm saying? So, the, you, you, there's tension in the house, mm -hmm. okay? But you have school fees to pay. Okay, you have uh, other things to do. I could say, no, I'm fighting the house and I'm tense, so I'm not paying fees. Mm. I mean, so we shouldn't use that excuse that we had an electoral uh, petition going on and there was tension. So the things that we're supposed to be doing, we didn't do them. Mm. I mean, that I think is a lot of. Mm. Um, but do you agree that? Do, do you agree that um, perhaps it, it put off or created some level of anxiety and uncertainty um, among the investor community? But that is what happens when you rely solely on the investor community for everything. Well, inv investors, they can come from or from abroad. <laughs> no, it doesn't, from within or abroad, it doesn't but matter. You see, that's why I'm saying that you must have a civil service or a public service that is working despite the sky falling around everybody's ears, okay? And that things ought to be, to be going. Because either way would have had a government if it had gone one way or the other. Okay, would have had a uh, would have had a, 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 a government thing. So there are certain things that ought to have been working, and we shouldn't say that because uh, the, the investors were uh, hedging or were, uh, were a little test, nothing nothing was uh, could go on. We, we, look, you, we had agreements with people even before that. A government must if it must be uh, a continuum. Okay, it must continue even when. Uh, how do I say, political parties change. There are certain agreements that were there already. Are we saying that because of that, um, some investors said, no, we will, not, we will not commit to agreements that we had already made? No, I don't think so. I think that there were certain agreements that were there that the investors had already committed to and were going through the, the, those ones should be working. So we shouldn't blame everything and anything on the ele election petition the same. Because it, it doesn't make the government in power look good when they blame everything and anything. You mean you don't want to make the government in power look good? Is that no, what it's not about of me making it. <laughs> they, they do bad all by themselves. They don't need anybody else to, to, to come and, and, and say anything. No, it's true. <laughs> They, oh, well, okay, let me put it nicely. They can do bad all by themselves. Good. Okay, so they don't need That's good me. language. <laughs> <laughs> Susan, tone <laughs> down. This morning, <laughs> we're entering New Year. Change. Yeah. Oh, change, yeah, change, your, good, change good. the way you talk. But, uh, but, but, talk <laughs> but, but, but talking about realistically, um, uh, about how the, elect uh, the election petition and the way perhaps might have put some anxiety among the investor confidence. 
th there was a subject that had always gripped the airwaves and it became topical during the year about perceived corruption and all the barometers and the surveys that were coming out and, and all that, and the perception that is still around, and, and leading the president to establish a judgment as commission. Well, I mean, Strengthening even the Yoko as a result. Are you happy? Now, well, I, efforts by government <laughs> to deal with corruption, well, let me uh, especially as the subject emanated during the year. You see, all... The, the latter part of the year, all we could hear was this had happened here and this monies were lost and this had happened here and this money was being wasted, etc., 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 jida, whatever, etc., etc. Okay. The perception of corruption, okay, makes people apathetic or makes people want to do the wrong thing, thinking that, well, if somebody's doing this, I can also get away with it, even if it is not true. And, and we must erode that perception. The government must, we must see a really strategic plan to attack corruption, okay? That everybody looks at it and says, okay, this is this plan, and this is my part in this plan, and we're going to do it for the benefit of this country. Mm -hmm. the, the corruption is not just the politicians. Okay, I, I, and, and, and nobody should think that it runs right down. Look, somebody came to tell me look, that he's applying to be a teacher and he has mm -hmm. to pay something to somebody in the GS before he, he, he gets a position. Is that a politician? And that's yeah, not right. That is, and that is not right. Okay, we heard all sorts of things uh, of, uh, with, with teachers, um, <laughs> you know, um, collecting monies. Uh, uh, you know, so that students can move and, and, and go and write the exam somewhere. Is that a politician? Okay. There are things that happen in, 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 the, in the civil service. We had in the public accounts committee, mm. people, you know, just w w wasting money. Mm. Are those politicians? Okay. The, the, the corruption that we have, we must tackle it properly. We must all see that there's a strategic plan to tackle it. And, and that it's not just for some people, but it's for everybody, mm. okay? And everybody will be Currently, um, you don't think that's the way it seems, so that's I the way it's going? I, I haven't seen it. Mm. I haven't seen You're it. You're not feeling I, it. I'm, I, I know. You're not well, seeing a, it. A, a strategic plan, we must all see it. Buy into it. it. Buy, and then buy into it. Mm. And know what role we have to play in it, mm. okay? So we, we must all, it, it must be there. And it, it, it must cut across all sectors, and everybody should be punished according to their uh, wrongdoing. Yes, okay. yes. You, you, so you do wrong, you're punished for it. And Re we must, realistic. And we must see. Look, sometimes the 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 little things that frustrate people are not even the big ones like in in the jida. But you go into somebody's office and you want something, and he wants you to put weight on it. That is the everyday reality for mm, some people. Mm. Okay, you, 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 you. The government has done some work. Uh, you've done some work for the government. You are supposed to collect a check, and some accountant is sitting on it. Okay, you, 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 you know, those are the everyday frustrations for some of our businessmen. Okay, you want certain things done, and you know this thing can be done in two, three days, and somebody is is is, is wasting your time and costing you money. All that, you know, we must and. Um, ensure that we are running a, 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 a system mm. that those frustrations, mm. those little, little, little corruptions along mm. the line, you know, ease up. And then when we, we, we start doing that, we start, we even deal with the bigger ones that we see in terms of, you know, mm. the big, big uh, money. Okay, N now l let's move forward and, and, and have a perspective for the next year. And we have 10 minutes to do that. Um, what should be the most striking thing for you that government needs to tackle in the next in the next year? Well, um, the corruption thing is one thing. Mm, mm. They 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 need to let us see the plan. All of us mm. see the plan and feel it. Okay, um, look at that. 
we, we need to okay. do that. Now, now, to... now, now, now talking mm -hmm. about the corruption thing, by having a judgment debt commissioner looking at the subject and uh, supposedly strengthening your call, that is the Economic Organized Crime Office, etc., to look at it, um, it, it gives a certain posture of, uh, uh, of an executive that really wants to have uh, a hands-on attitude towards the subject. But that's only one that aspect is, of it, judgment death. Really? Only one aspect of it. No, 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 no. I think, I no, think, I, I, I think, I think Yoko, the, Yoko too has been investigating GIDA and all the other things about JRE, etc. Okay, so tell me the results. Maybe I, I'm not well, up to... So, so, I'm to, you know, they are they, investigative bodies, and so those things are still in the pipeline. In, in this country, the pipeline... I don't it's know always what, open, it's, never it's, gets it's, uh, to end. Is, is, is that your argument? You're, you're, Infinitive. You see, yes. You, you see, um, in certain things, mm -hmm. okay, you must deal with it expeditiously and, in, in, and quickly, okay? Because the longer it stays, the more it forms in people's minds that something is not being done well or s some facts are going to be turned so that you come out with a certain result mm. okay mm. so you must deal with you you must yes i agree hasten slowly mm. but you must hasten mm. okay you must do it efficiently but quickly mm. and so the longer it stays mm. people give up especially in this country where a lot of us are becoming disillusioned with 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 um getting results in terms of this person has been corrupt, this is this, this is that, and we've mm. taken the case properly, and somebody's been punished mm. for it. Mm. Who, who the only time we see quick results is when people go and steal plantain. Mm. They steal the plantain. And they're taken to a second court. They're taken to a second, second court. court. And, and give it 10 years. Okay. That's the only time we see. Yeah, we, because they stole. You, you understand? So somebody is Because they stole. No, no. It, no, because you see that one. Mm -hmm. And so you know that, okay, when I steal a bunch of plantain and I'm caught, I'm getting 10 years. But somebody is stealing with a pen, okay? We are not seeing white-collar crimes being punished as fast. Oh, you, 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 you get it? And we ought to see that. Because people every day say, I mean, somebody is stealing millions. And somebody steals a bunch of plantain because he's hungry. Is it right? You know? And, and it, 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 you know, they, they, it creates a certain kind of despair that there's one justice for a certain group of people and another for a certain group of mm. people. And but that society that, but that, always, no, always but, has been working like that since evolution. Even yes, in the Bible... But not, no, but it has. But it shouldn't... It, Even it in the should, Bible, in the Mosaic period, no, I mean... No, 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 no. <laughs> so, so, it, it no always, but we have to always, be realistic. No, it's, it's not... But when it's, it's so obvious, mm. one day people will just rise up you know, mm. you don't want to get to that point, mm. okay? Yeah. So you, you definitely... You're calling for agitations? No, is, I'm is not is calling... That? Don't go there. I'm not calling for agitations. Okay, okay. I'm, all I'm saying is that when the disparity is too much, people... Then there's agitation within people, the masses. People will get angry at a certain point. There's only so much people will take, okay? So we must make sure we do not get there. White-collar crimes okay, must be dealt with quickly. Mm. So that, and people seem to be punished mm. for it, not just the people stealing goods and planting. Mm. Okay. Um, l l l let's, l let's move to um, uh, um, ed education. Okay. Um, d during, during the year, um, the senior high school graduates were in two badges, created difficulties for admission into... Um, the tertiary institutions, and we still have a backlog of them in school. And not in school, they are at home. Some can still get admissions. Um, even had to um, compel the polytechnic heads to come out and say, because the university was always a priority, we had a lot more people who didn't want to go to the polytechnics, even though they, they had a lot of vacancies. Well, I mean, what, what did what didn't we get right? You know, shifting. The three year to a four year, four year to three all that. Well, one thing that we must come together as a country to say that this is our education policy and this is the way we want it to go. Mm. And no government should come and fiddle with mm. it. When you come, do your part in mm. it, mm. in this overall plan. Mm. And 
wherever you leave off, when the next government comes, this is where we want to go. So that we don't get into this three year, four year, we are going this. Look, there are many people now who, like me, went to a, uh, um, secondary school, did O level, A level, and think that the JSS is not good. It may not necessarily, you know, be a bad thing. But the way the JSS has gone has given the impression that those of us who did O-level and, and A-level are, are, are better off. Mm. So we are it, no it, good. It may not... No, yeah, yeah, you went to SSS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it, may not, it, it may not necessarily be true, okay? We are not I, good. No, not that you're not this good. This is serious. <laughs> Look, I think that my, my children are spending longer hours in school, okay? Um, they, they go in at 7. They, they finish at... Your, your children at, will go to SS. Would, would they go? I, well, when the, we'll see. Oh, good, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take them to some British school. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Don't school. go there. Look, they start school at seven. Okay. And then they, they are closing at four. Mm. Okay. For my mind, they are not better educated than me that I started school at seven and closed at 12. Okay. And, th and that is how it, uh, it is. They are spending more time in school, they, mm. but... Uh, they, so you're saying that they're coming out burnt out, uh, uh, and they're, they're not that much better you, educated. You, you, okay, you, 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 not, so the you, content of the education, I don't. So know we need a proper about. restructuring. We really need a proper restructuring. That the people, anybody who comes out of JSS or of SSS, okay, uh, mean, should should be so equipped with a certain, with, with a certain knowledge skill a level. knowledge skill level that they they, 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 they can function. Okay. Right now, uh, and take the average, not those uh, who go to SS. certain, take the average SSS, SS people or the average um, JSS people and ask them to write you an essay. One bro for nye. On your bro for nye. It's clarity of thought. Yeah, yeah. So, who bro for nye? And you have clarity of thought. Uh, mm. I may see that you are grammatically wrong, okay? But there's the, the, there's, the, no clarity, the, of there's clarity of thought. There's clarity of thought and there may be a logical sequence. Now, that is not the heart or the root of the problem. Okay, we are, or we are not, we are not bringing out thinkers, okay? And so, two, three years, four years, and then we are fiddling with it, it hasn't helped us. Mm -hmm. Of course, we've had the situation where now we have a whole crowd of people who want to get into the universities and that there are not enough spaces for them. Um, I guess that with the JSS people, this year we didn't hear so much of this computerized system and parents fighting. Because it was down well. Uh, it was probably down well, but we still had a little bit of agitations where parents said that um, you know um, they went to the schools that supposedly their children had got and the headmasters or the headmistresses told mm -hmm. them stories that the children were not there. We need to smooth there them There were even some headmasters, for example in Infantil Pim School, um, who said that they wouldn't take the computerized uh, placement because they, they had a certain uh, caliber of student that they needed and they thought see, those, those students did not meet their reputation. Let me tell you that. I, th I thought that was very much unfortunate. I no, like no, no. Infantipim let, School let, very, no, because that, it's a school. No, let me tell you the best school in Ghana. No, let, let me tell you. You went to Infantipim? No. So, ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but let me tell you something. Okay. If I have been a Methodist uh -huh. all my life, uh -huh. I have contributed to the Methodist Church and its growth. Uh -huh. Okay. And then I have seen to 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 the building up of the church, its schools, its mm -hmm. whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I say I'm taking my son to Infantspim, and you get 16, mm -hmm. and my son gets 16. Please, I expect my son to be picked, not you, Why? who have not contributed to the Methodist Church. I mean. This is the, we we want to talk about reality. This is reality. Yeah. Okay. But, but well, uh, no, education no, no, needs no, to be made no, equitable. No, equitable. And, and once but you see, but uh, once equity that's comes why I said in, once that's equity, why I'm saying equity. Once equity we comes in, Susan Edwama, no. once equity comes in, it changes everything. No, Susan. but no. Once I said, but that's why you said equitable. You didn't say equal. Equitable because it's equitable. I have contributed to a particular growth in a particular institution. Okay. You haven't, and both of us come in with the same grades. What 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 will make it equitable? No, tell me. I mean, so you ought to understand some of these sentiments somewhere. Mm -hmm. you, you 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 get it, and it will happen. And I, I think that there is nowhere in the world that that will not happen. Mm -hmm. You 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 get it. So people ought to understand that. What I'm why I will not have I would have a problem is maybe that the person got thirty. Eh? And then you get 16, and the person gets admission over you. That I will not. Oh, once in a while, those but, things will happen. Yes, normal. But I'm talking about 
you, like you said, equity. equity. And something must tip the scales in favor of one or the other. And so that one we will deal with. But our education system, really, we need to look about the content, you know, not, not just the duration, but the content. We need to look about the teacher training. What, how are they imparting knowledge to, to our, 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 our children? You know, we need to look at the, the, the products that we bring out. Mm. Are they educated people? Mm. Uh, education is not just um, putting your skills at the service of yourself, mm. but putting your, service, your skills at the service of your community and your nation. That is an educated person, mm. you know. Are you so in not, the Lions Club a, or something? Not a, a selfish Are you in person. the Lions Club or something? No, why? Okay, let's move. Let but why are you asking We're, we're that? talking about community. I'm talking about me. Let, I'm, I'm you're in you're talking about community. And that is Susan, something that Nkrumah said. Susan, I'm moving the thing. This is our last subject of talk. <laughs> are you, have you been satisfied during the year uh, with what the Ghana Police Service have done now? They have improved community policing. They've deployed a lot more uh, personnel in communities. I believe, where do you live? I live in Sakuba. Well, yes, and I believe that uh, you go, you see them at corners and everything. You should be satisfied now. Well, I, I, would I you mean, say that in terms of security? Well, of course, recently we've heard of some murders, etc. No, that, that would happen. I mean, mm. there's no mm. um, uh, you know, society in which you not have mm. all uh, these uh, uh, troubles. Uh, uh, yes, uh, no matter the police uh, you know, presence. I think that we've all been happy with the police presence, okay? Um, you know, we felt safer. Um, you know, you, you, I mean, some of the traffic, uh, what do you call it, um, situations have been um, improved. improved because of their presence extra. There's still a lot more to be done because, and, that, and, 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 and you know, a lot more to be done. I, 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 I get frustrated <laughs> a twist. lot with the, with the <laughs> You are never the, satisfied. Susan. We can never be satisfied. But we want to say congratulations to them. We want to say that they're doing a good job. But the sky is the limit. They can still do better, <laughs> you know. Uh, and, and, and that 2014, they would improve on the good things that mm. they, they have done, uh, uh, and, you know, um, so far. Mm. And then the ones that they didn't do so well, they, they do better. Okay. Thank you very much. And we have had in the studio the first vice chairperson, I would say the first vice chairwoman of the CPP, Suzanne Edu Amankwa. And, uh, I, oh, no, 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 don't worry. <laughs> and uh, I tell you, um, she contested the last election in my constituency, Tema West. And you are voting for me the next time. I voted for you the last time. I vote for you again. <laughs> And uh, I, I want her to become an MP. She'll be, she'll be a fantastic MP, wouldn't you think? So dispassionate, okay, wait, objective. Wait, 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 for that you do all this. Uh, dispassionate. <laughs> I'm doing a campaign for you now. Well, so thank you very much, and you've been very helpful throughout the year. And we'll say um, a very good year to you. And the next year, we hope that all your expectations are met by God. You'll be going to for the 31st night all night survey, right? Definitely. Okay. Your pastor has not advertised. No, I belong to the Catholic Church. We don't. Oh, you you don't advertise. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, sorry. Okay, so churches are full all the time. <laughs> well, that'll be it for now. It's been the talk on the AM Talk, and thanks for joining us. Please get interactive again. We have um, the Shortco 1760 and also the platform on Facebook. It's a page. It's just uh, joining us on TV. Please search for it, and please put your comments there.